Hello. Okay, I'm uh, the last session here, just closing remarks. Um, so first, you know, thank you so much for, for joining. This has been the first Open Observability Day that we've had. Uh, and, and before I just walk through a few slides here, uh, just by a show of hands, uh, how many folks enjoyed today's event? You can, you can be truthful, you don't have to put your hands up. Uh, and, and secondly, you know, if we had another one of these, how many would be interested in, in attending something like that? Okay, okay. And last question I have with, with hand raises is how many folks feel like they learned something here today that they'll apply to their daily role? Awesome, awesome. Okay, that's, that's what it's all about, making sure that we provide value, good content, and, and stuff that's useful for, for folks to take back. So with that, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go through the closing remarks. I'm Anurag. I'm one of the, the folks uh, here from Cliptia, also uh, OSS maintainer. Uh, thanks again to our Diamond sponsors, Cliptia and Chronosphere, as well as our Platinum sponsors, OpenSearch, uh, and just the sponsors in general. It really helps us uh, to put together the event and make sure we get everything from uh, the Wi-Fi, coffee, food, lunch, and, and uh, whatnot. So first, uh, you know, this has been one of the, the most submitted sessions that, that I've seen. A lot of folks submitted content. Uh, I know we can't have uh, 40 hours of, of content, so thanks again to our speakers who really curated that stuff to create what, what looks like a, a very, very successful event. Uh, and of course, thank you to the event chairs, program committee members, and maintainers, right? I, I think a lot of folks in the room here are contributing to open source, they're spending time, they're spending cycles, uh, building stuff of value for folks in this room. So, you know, really, really big thank you to, to those folks as well. The CNCF for, for hosting us and giving us a venue to, to speak about all this. And of course you for, for attending and, and helping make this event. Now one thing you'll all get uh, here after this event is a survey feedback and my, my uh, one request would be please put your honest feedback in there, you know, what type of sessions you wanna see, what do you wanna see next? Uh, and that's really gonna help us uh, continue to deliver a great event. Uh, and, and you know, if you didn't like it, that's fine. Uh, give us the honest stuff, it's, it's anonymous so we're not gonna be able to, to uh, pin you out and say, hey, I, I saw what you, you said about it. And you know, I think one, one thing I'll, I'll leave the audience with, I have two, two more slides, is how do I get involved? Uh, you know, we've, you've seen what's going on. There's a ton of stuff going on with the community, a lot of topics. It's really hard to, to keep up with, to, to be honest. So how do you even start to look at ways that you can plug into this, this giant ecosystem? And really, this is where you can go to many of the projects, uh, websites. They have a lot of great resources on how to get involved. Uh, how to start contributing, how to start helping out other users, where the community's chatting about how they're deploying in production or how they're uh, going about solving a particular issue. Uh, and and I, I really want to emphasize that not everything needs to be code. Uh, there's a lot of value that comes with folks who are able to help write blogs, who are able to uh, put on a session, a webinar, uh, a docs. Docs are so, so incredibly important. You know, helping non-native English speakers and, and editing and grammar, grammar there, that's fantastic. Translating that documentation for, for hitting a wider audience, amazing things that, that can occur there. So, you know, it doesn't matter if you can code or not, there's ample opportunity to get involved and I, I encourage folks if, if they're interested to, to come join. Uh, when should you start? You should start now. There's, there's no, you need to figure out what observability is before you jump in. You don't need to wait till you're in a role that has observability in the title. Uh, there is so many ample opportunities to, to get involved. And I think many, many folks in this room, uh, a lot of maintainers, users, vendors, they're more than willing to kind of help you point, point you in the right direction. So later this week, uh, I think there's two other community events, one tomorrow uh, with, with Prom Day here as a co-located event. Uh, and then I also believe there is a, a unplugged hotel day. I'm not sure if there's any other community events, but if, if I've missed one, you know, uh, definitely raise, raise your hand. And then of course, during the main KubeCon, which I believe everyone here is attending, you have a, a ample number of sessions. There's two, two distinct tracks there. One is observability track. So this is gonna include all the projects you saw today, things uh, across, across the spectrum. Uh, those are all in red on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, you have the maintainer tracks. So those are uh, much more in-depth pro project updates. So if you saw something in the two to three minute update we did in the beginning of the session, 
uh, and you saw that was really cool, you want to learn more, definitely try to attend one of these. Uh, I think I hit them all, and again, if I, if I missed one or two, I'm, I apologize. But yeah, this is, this is what's going on in the week. There's plenty of more content um, that's, that's here available. So with that, uh, we can wrap up uh, this, this Open Observability Day, the first and uh, first one, I hope, of, of many. And thank you all again for, for joining us. There's going to be a reception, uh, I think, downstairs. So we'll, we can all walk together and, and talk more, more about this great stuff. So thank you.